how's it going today bringing you a tutorial on a Saab classic 900 this one in particular is a 1980 turbo but as you can see it's got this rubber spoiler now if you listen I already did this half what we're doing is we are smoothing out this spoiler so how are we gonna do this you might ask well here are some of my best friends. We have here some 320 grit wet dry sandpaper. And we have some P1000 and a spray bottle with water in it, um, preferably cold. And Mother's Back to Black Trim and Plastic Restore and a microfiber towel and just a junk bath towel in order to dry off the water. So here is what you are going to do. Ooh, stick it to the window there so you have a perfect view. So what you do you spray water on there nice and good just to get it well lubricated and you're going to be doing the exact same to your fresh chunk of 320 grit sandpaper. Now if you have a more sun damaged rough surface I would recommend starting with a heavier grit before you start doing this with the 320 grit and I would also recommend going far beyond the 1000 grit I would recommend 1500 and 2000 grit as well to wet sand so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your sandpaper you're gonna go along it nice and smooth just as even as you can preferably you'd be using a sanding block but I don't have one of those at the moment and you're just gonna go over it, keeping it nice and lubricated for the entire time that you're doing this. Just in order to smooth out the surface, just back and forth, all along there. And you want to be careful not to go too rough too fast because there is a uh, metal bar inside of the spoiler. Um, once again, a metal bar inside of the spoiler, so you don't want to sand down to that. And then once it starts to feel a little bit smoother, you can just rub your hand across it and figure out where you're at. Just change directions every now and then, just to retain evenness. Now, you are probably going to have to wash your car after doing this, just because there is a ton of stuff that comes down off of the spoiler onto the paint. So we'll go ahead and give that a quick wipe off and we will give it a second or so to just kind of dry out and already I can hear just an insane difference. So we'll bring it a little bit closer here. Now compared to the previous sound sounds way better when you rub your hand across it so let's advance to the P1000 or 1000 grit sandpaper so you want to just make sure you get this nice and wet as well 
hit everywhere you're going to be wet sanding. Good. Just get it nice and lubricated all along. And just continue to go over. And because this is a much finer grit, it's going to be taking off a lot less rubber, which is essentially what these spoilers are made out of. And you just go over the whole thing as evenly as possible. Now, once again, I would like to recommend using a sanding block. I didn't have room for that in my budget. However, I do this on quite a regular basis, so I've gotten pretty good at just freehanding it. So, as you can see, and probably here, it's smoothing out quite a large amount. So, the way to know you're done is essentially to just go by sound, whatever you think sounds good. So, what I've done is now I have essentially brought the entirety to where this underside, which doesn't get hit with a whole lot of sun, I've brought the top side to approximately the same smoothness. Now, for the next part, what we're going to do is we are going to grab our mother's back to black trim restore. And we are just going to slather it all along there. If you have a foam applicator, that would be ideal, but I do not have one of those at the moment. And you're gonna drop you guys there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your microfiber and just buff it in in circles. You're gonna see that it's getting extremely glossy here as it's going in, and it's just rejuvenating the rubber with. Uh, various oils and uh, things of that nature just bringing it back to a black color and once you go over the whole thing you let it sit for who since it's in direct sunlight I won't let it sit for too long maybe five ten seconds and we're going to take our junk towel and just buff off in circles or just randomly all right and there you have it that is how to wet sand to restore smoothness on the rear spoiler on your c900 Hope you enjoyed and hope it was helpful. All in all, have a nice day. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that awesome like button or the even better subscribe button. Alright everybody, have a good day.